Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has joined New South Wales opposition leader Chris Minns on the campaign trail ahead of pre-polls opening tomorrow. Senior reporter Caroline Marcus has the details from Sydney's Inner West. Danica, it's very important. It's currently held by a Greens MP, Jamie Parker. He's held it since 2011, but he is retiring at this election, so it is up for grabs. And before that, it was held by Labor, and traditionally it's been a real Labor heartland seat. So the party's really hoping to be able to win this seat in Sydney's inner west back. Uh, but with precious few hours to go before pre-polls officially open tomorrow, uh, Chris Minns, the opposition leader in New South Wales, spent the afternoon and morning with the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, hoping some of his star power might rub off on him. They, they started off this morning at a childcare centre in the area where they took photos and played with kids, those uh, shots with babies and children proving popular as ever for campaigning politicians, Danica. They then headed here to Balmain where they uh, spoke to locals and uh, business, uh, small business owners at a cafe before uh, moving across the road to the pub to perhaps toast what might be a successful weekend for them next weekend at uh, the New South Wales state election. Now, uh, while Mr Albanese, this is actually his fifth day campaigning with Mr Min since the election was called. Uh, he, he, the, on the other side of politics, uh, Peter Dutton, the opposition leader, the federal opposition leader, has not spent any time with the Premier Dominic Perrottet and I asked Mr Albanese about this earlier. Peter Dutton uh, wasn't even at the campaign launch of uh, Dominic Perrottet and hasn't been seen with Dominic Perrottet since last October. Uh, the truth is that the Liberal Party are a dysfunctional party. They're riven by division. Uh, they're not fighting for the people of New South Wales because they're too busy fighting each other. Premier Dominic Perrottet was also out and about today. He was spending time in the seat of Willoughby in Sydney's north. That's the seat held by his predecessor, the former Premier Gladys Berejiklian. At the moment, it's held uh, by Liberal MP Tim James, but by a very tight margin of just 3.3%. So they're hoping to stave off the independent candidate, Larissa Penn, when uh, the election comes around next weekend.